the championship lead back in third on the grid. Revs rise and we're away. The clutches have dropped. They charge towards the first chicane for the first time in the race. Lorenzo Colombo with a decent start here. Futrell, I think, has got a good run as well. I guess he was alongside. That's right, Christian Longard. And he's on the outside and there's a big hit there in the background. Car going round and round. Oh, and gets collected as well. It could be Peroni. I think that's been collected by two, three other cars involved in that incident. Others, I think, may have got by but clipped the cars. So a big, big collision there not off the line but as they went up through the gears and they're so tightly packed they're almost inevitable there was uh, more contact once one car had gone around and no surprises to see that the safety car has been deployed as a result of that good to see drivers uh, getting out of the car so one of the drivers there the black car is uh, Vladimir Tsurtsis the Russian driver and it was sadly Peroni's car that was sent spinning around that sort of triggered that off. Tortis was at the tail end of the grid so he's picked up the collision. He's out of the car and okay though. And you'll see quickly the Monza recovery team and the officials are there straight down to the scene of the incident first and foremost to make sure that the drivers are okay and that's what Grimbaugh's under safety car conditions straight away so they can do their job uh, properly. So there is Lorenzo Colombo who Made a great start to the race. Lots and lots of friends and family made the trip to see him here this weekend. Lungard second. Futrell got alongside Lungard, but wasn't able to find his way through. So he was there running in third place. And the championship leader after three rounds, if he is running in fourth place, going to get a replay now of the incident. So it was all okay to begin with. Lots of jostling going on up front. It was the mid pack, so 7th, 8th, 9th downwards. And, ah, okay, I think it was Raul Guzman who looks like his car, the sun shining on it, that moved offline and clipped wheels with Peroni. Peroni then collected by the other two cars. One of them we've identified as being Vladimir Tsortsis. The other, hidden behind the barrier, might be, I think it is, the 63 car of Naji Razak, who was in the walls yesterday as well. Here's a view from the rear facing camera off the line. It's coming up, coming up, coming up. There it is, and around and around and into the barriers. And then no time for the other drivers to react to uh, pick that up. So there's a view from the overhead camera. And there's sorts his seat right at the back of the field. And there is the incident happening ahead. And just sort of blindsided by the cars ahead and then others lock up and he couldn't avoid it so the car's going past that uh, incident now and uh, is the other one that didn't come through oh, and some juice is the other car that didn't come through so that's the car that was obscured by the uh, the marker boards so Peroni we knew about uh, Tortis we knew about and the other one afraid was one of the ABF cars and some of the juice uh, start straight incidents under investigation no surprises there they'll be keen to have a look at that and see if anything can be learned by it but uh, for now it's the end of the race for those drivers so colombo leading the way lundsgaard second futrell third yay fourth we've got that far down the list logan Sargent in fifth place making a decent start richard for sure the dutch driver there in sixth max de Forney gained some ground he's up to seventh place in the number 33 car teammate to Alex Peroni so he started eighth and has moved up into seventh Oscar Piastri dropped back a little bit the Australian 